Hello friends, uh, my name is Rasa Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic quality matrix. Friends, this topic is important with respect to project management and especially if you are studying project management in any university or you are planning to give exam of PMP. So quality matrix is an important topic with respect to exam point of view and you will definitely definitely see this topic in the, in the exam. Also friend, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a project manager, so again you will uh, you must have to know about the quality matrix, about what is its important and how to implement, how to use the quality matrix. So friend, uh, coming to coming back to our main topic, uh, quality matrix. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start quality matrix see friend here these are two terms quality matrix friend what is quality if I ask from you with respect to PMI or project management body of knowledge what do you think that what is quality in project management first of all you have to understand the quality before going into deep our main topic quality matrix see friend here a quality matrix quality is basically pertaining to delivery of scope agreed scope to customer okay for example if you agreed that you as per the signed scope of work you will deliver five tasks to customer and you have delivered it to the customer so that means you are maintaining the quality as per the definition of uh, project management quality means delivery of task delivery of scope to customer for example if you have agreed as per the signed scope of work you agreed that you deliver five tasks in the e-commerce solution to customer you are implementing e-commerce solution and you agreed that you will deliver five tasks to customer let's suppose like the customer can uh, register on the site customer can uh, uh, browse the catalog of products customer can add and uh, the product in the wish list customer can uh, can compare a product with any other similar product and customer can do the payment through debit card or credit card so these are the five tasks let's assume that these are the five tasks which have been agreed in the scope of work of e-commerce solution and you have to deliver these tasks to customer so let's assume uh, so let's think that you have delivered these five tasks to customer so that means you are maintaining the quality again remember one thing a very important concept here friend uh, that quality means delivery of scope delivery of signed scope of work to customer remember one thing if you are adding anything especially anything extra in the scope which is not agreed with the scope or with the with the customer and it was not part of scope of work it is gold plating and it is not allowed as per the project management it is totally unacceptable gold plating means friend adding any extra feature adding any uh, adding any extra functionality which was not part of the scope of work and you are just adding just to make happy your customer just to enhance your functionality the of product however it was not part of a scope of work of so this is a so this is a uh, this is a uh, gold plating for example let, let's assume let's assume uh, the same example of e-commerce as per the signed scope of work you have to deliver only uh, payment through debit card let's assume okay and um, your uh, your technical lead says that if we add the functionality through credit card through payment payment through credit card so it will enhance the functionality of the e-commerce solution however it is not part of scope of work if you agreed so friend this is gold plating and you are adding a feature which is not part of a scope of work so this will not be allowed at any cost this is totally unacceptable in project management and this is called as gold plating so now a uh, friend coming to uh, towards our main topic quality matrix first of all try to understand quality quality means delivery of scope of work signed of scope of work to customer that is called as quality gold plating means adding extra feature which is not part of a scope of work to customer so this is quality uh, gold plating and it is totally unacceptable now coming to our main topics uh, quality matrix friend see uh, when we are talking about quality matrix that means we are referring to some standards uh, as per your organization as per your company you are defining some qual uh, some standards quality uh, standards so that you can measure your quality 
remember one thing that friend uh, if there are for example if there are 50 standards so it is not necessary that you implement all the 50 standards of quality in your organization Le uh, you have to think the culture of your organization your possibly your uh, organizational culture and according to the uh, organization culture you can assume you can use you can implement five quality standards ten quality standards as per the need as per the co organization culture you can implement the uh, standards and uh, quality standards in your orga organization just to measure the performance of your organization uh, quality standard quality so quality metrics means friend that you are uh, basically um, objective uh, standards for measuring your product and the quality and efficiency of the manufacturing process without good metrics you are just guessing that what you are offering the customer is high quality see friend here this is just a definition means that you are defining some standards through which you can measure the performance of your quality because if you don't have any standards that means you are uh, checking or uh, checking the quality on based on some guess only there is no specific concrete reason concrete methodology concrete metrics are available metrics means friends uh, standards you are de you have to define some standards uh, based on the standards uh, you can say uh, that uh, quality is maintaining or not maintaining quality metrics for, for example friend uh, let's uh, assume that if you are implementing an e-commerce solution so uh, if you must have to define some uh, coding standards for example the naming conventions of files should be like that uh, naming conventions of database tables should be like that so you have to define some naming conventions so it will come as a standard in the quality if someone a programmer is following the quality standards so that means you are maintaining the quality metrics are you are you getting my point quality matrix means simply uh, quality matrix means friend that you have to maintain you have to define the standards of quality so that you can maintain you can measure the performance of your quality uh, friend uh, what could be the standards measurable lots of the products work is not as good as a matrix as 99 percent of them work actionable you are measuring a property you can work to improve such as durability or customer satisfaction trackable over time if you can't monitor uh, monitor a metric you can't tell the quality is improving maintain and updated regularly tied to business goals so all these are the friend uh, simply standards friend uh, these this was just a definition i was just discussing with, the, with you the definition see friend here quality metrics means that you have to define as per your need as per your culture of organization you have to define the standards of quality and through these quality metrics or your quality standards you have to measure the performance of your product okay if for example if uh, if as per the quality metrics uh, the, the quality metric says that the file naming convention in a in a code in a programming code it should be like that for example so that should be maintained if you are maintaining that that means that uh, there you are maintaining the quality matrix why it is important friend see if you don't have the quality matrix you can't measure the performance of your product or project and you will say something anything based on some guesses or not it will not based on any concrete things it will based on any uh, it will not based on any concrete thing so co if you have defined the properly the quality matrix quality standards so based on the quality standards friend you can easily define the measurement of your performance of project or product uh, friend uh, co you can just think of a quality matrix as a scoreboard uh, for example just a very simple example of uh, quality matrix like that tensile strength how much pulling can it stand before breaking shear strength how easy is it to cut or snap how much metal scrap is left over in manufacturing how many defective products does the process turn out how, what was the customer satisfaction so friend quality matrix is just a uh, you can see a scorecard uh, based on the scorecard you can imagine you can understand that how much customer like for example how much customer satisfied with your product how many defective products find in the process turn out so friend this you just think of a quality matrix as a 
score card uh, that you define the standards and just like a score card it will give you a result at the end of a process so you can uh, you can score your product according to the quality matrix it is a uh, it is a standard uh, standard procedures standards to define the quality and you have to define these standards as per the need and as per the culture of your organization so friend uh, that's all from my side i hope i have tried my level best to explain you the concept of quality matrix in an easy to understand manner if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you